Hello, my name is Adrian Cherry and welcome back to a rather belated part 7 of the QCAT tutorials. Part 6 we've been adding some details around the front of the tender frame. I've cheated a bit because I've skipped these next couple. Which I'll turn off the construction there so you can see. This is the outline of the etching that we're doing. I've added a couple of tabs across the top. Again, just parallel lines and cutting and editing and in the lips at the back. Uh, same as we've done so far. But that gives me the outline that I want to get etched. Now I'm going on to the half etch details. Now this depends on the company that you're using and the thickness of the metal that you want to get etched. I'm using PPD um, and in their guidelines the half etch one from the front of the metal is filled in red and you can have half etch from the rear which is half etch two and coloured in blue. Also the size of the half etching is dependent upon the metal thickness. Um, in this case I've used the guidelines from the Model Railway Journal, I think it was Dave Rowlands that published it. What I've done is I've scaled it up from the metal thickness up to the 12 inch to the foot that I'm using for my drawings. So fortunately on the tender there's very little half edge detail. There's a couple of rivets along the bottom and there's a stretcher bar that goes from one side to the other. So what I wanted to do in my design was to put a little slot in just so that I could locate this stretcher bar. So what I'll do is uh, zoom in, move down a whisker. So I'll go to the half edge, need to turn it on, so I make that layer visible. And if I right click on the layer list and edit, you can see I've got it colour as black, lightweight line and continuous, because it's the fill that's red, the outline is black. So first of all I need a few construction lines, a vertical line, um, it's a vertical snap to uh, midpoint because it's halfway between on this oval so if I click on there so that's giving me a midpoint there but it's too long so a quick trim so I'll select the trim as it says the command down there choose the limiting entity which I want to trim to that line I want to trim that so that cuts it back so escape a few times to get back to the home area and what I want to do is select this line, and that's my construction line. So, uh, again, midpoint reference will do, and enter for the target point. And the first one is 0 0.5 inches one way. Keep original, and select that line again, and this time. Oh, no command, sorry. I want to repeat so reference point in the middle and enter and minus 0 0.5. So that gives me a slot keep original. Now the rivets are halfway between the bottom of the frame and the arch. So if I select on that vertical line and I want to copy that. Um, choose a reference point intersection there will do because I've got this vertical line I can go to middle uh, keep original so now I've got a construction line for the rivet detail go back to the center line there and again these are just construction lines uh, reference point pick the intersection in the middle and so the first rivet one way is two and a quarter inches. So if I say ampersand two and a quarter, we say yeah, two point two five. No horizontal change. That's giving me that one. Go back to there. Reference point intersection target point enter. And the second one was four and three quarters. So ampersand four point 
0.75 inches okay, original this one nice couple bear with me so intersection the target point and percent minus 2.25 comma zero keep original and last one copy it uh, intersection enter and minus 4.75 0 uh, this is the last one so I don't need the original anymore so I'll get rid of that so there's my intersection points for the rivets the rivets are obviously circular pick circle and radius I know my radius is 0 0.5 so the center is just the intersection of my construction line so if I just click on and it highlights intersection on the snap I can just click on it um, escape and that's it done so it's added my four half edge rivets so now I want to go to the construction lines so if I yes, just select that and shift and that that one's a construction that one's a construction so now there's five construction lines, hit delete, and there I am. So now I can turn off the outline and the metal fill, and all I'm left with is my four rivets and a couple of vertical bars. And when you come to do the half edge fill, you need to fill this in in red, but it's not an enclosed shape. So if I just go back to drawing a line, what I'll do is I'll draw a line from two points and I'll choose end points on the snap and you can see here it just snaps to the end point of that one end point of that one escape and end point of that one end point of that one and escape so now you can see that I've got enclosed circles and an enclosed rectangle which helps when you're doing the fill but that's not quite there if we zoom out slightly, you can see I've done one, but obviously there's the uh, second set there. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the outline again, and I'll just uh, go back to the select point. So if I draw a bounding box, if I click and drag, I can select all of the points. And I know it's a six foot six wheelbase, so this lot all needs copying over six foot six away so I've selected everything <clears throat> mirror copy again reference point it doesn't matter whether I select the circles or anything because it's all moving in the same direction so click on any point it's come up with intersection that'll do so that's the reference point target point enter so six foot is 72 inches plus six so that's 78 so target point will be 78 inches and zero. And you can see that it's already duplicated. If I hit enter, um, I want to keep the originals. OK. And escape. And select, deselect all. So now if I go back to my outline layer and turn that back on, you can see I've repeated the exact same outline over there so that's my all of my outline for the half edge detail so now we go on to the fill so for the minute I'll turn off the half edge outline and have gone back to the fill so this is my oops, not too bad, nearly there so this is the outline for the full etching um, and this will be the layer two. So if I turn on the layer by clicking on the eye, that makes that active or oh, visible. And if I select it, and you can see there, if I go and edit that layer, the fill type is black and continuous. So what I, all I do is go from outside, I'll click and drag. So I'm just dragging a bounding box around all of my outline there. 
you can see it's highlighted just check all of the lines that you've drawn have uh, been highlighted then on the menu bar on the left hand side there's the hatch fill so in this case I'll click on that and it gives you the various patterns you can select lines all sorts of you know, grass a lot of these must be architectural stuff um, what else are there? Stars, whatever ever you want. These are all the film patterns that you can use. Um, but for the etching, we're doing a solid film. And we're doing black, which was set from the layer um, properties. So, solid view, hatch, OK. And that's uh, if I go to uh, select. select you can see now it's actually filled in everything in black. So if I turn off the metal fill, you can see we can toggle between them. So if I turn the metal fill off and the outline off and go to the half etch outline, so this is just everything else is invisible. All of well, what I'll do is I'll do the half etch fill as well. So if I select the half etch fill layer, if I edit that, you can see here I've got the colour set to red. If you haven't got it set to red, select it so that all of the stuff on this layer is done that way. Um, and make the half etch outline. So these are the only two layers you want turned on. And this should have all of your half etch details from the front. So again, click and drag a bounding box around all of your details and it should highlight everything. If we then go on to the half etch outline, oops, sorry, half etch fill, there, and in the hatch there, we do the solid fill um, for that and OK there. Now if I go back to that and deselect all, you can see, if I zoom in now, that it has actually filled in. Let me stop. Yep. So I've got my half etch with it, so I've got the black outline, but the fill is red. So if I go back to there, zoom out a bit, and I turn all the other layers back on. Move over this way. There we go. So that's where we're up to. So now I've got a tender frame. The black bit is the uh, etched outline and we can see the red half etched details on there. And I think that's good enough to conclude